Well, hello everybody. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. And today I have a yellow 1960s Smith Corona Coronet Automatic. And this is the original color. And we're gonna take a look at it. This one has a 12 inch carriage, which comes in handy for crafters because you can do a variety of um, paper sizes in there. And um, yes, you can do cardstock. Sometimes you need to pull this lever forward and kind of push the cardstock through, but um, typewriters can handle the cardstock. So um, I just like to recommend the 12 inch because it just gives you more flexibility for whatever projects you may have. But this one is a good typer, so let's take a look at it. Right here is your paper holder. Keeps the paper from flopping over. Margins, press and drag. Okay. And this is an electric typewriter with a power return. That means you have to plug it in to the wall for it to work. Um, to release the carriage, you have a handle over here on the right side. The left side does not have a handle and you just pull that in. You hear the little bell and it's gonna move however far you have the margins set. So if we move the margins out there. And so what that bell does is tell you, hey, you're at the end of your margins and I'm gonna bring them in. Okay, let's open the top inside. You're gonna see universal ribbon. This is a two inch spool, fits most typewriters. You, um, and you can see it came out of the uh, guide right here. So in both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that so we can type on it. You just wanna make sure when you do change it out that the uh, ribbons are in the guide wires. There. And there we go, straighten that out. Okay, voila. And uh, when you do need to change it, you just pull it out, pop it in. Again, make sure it's threaded properly. I have an up close image of this area. You just visit the product listing link in the description below. When you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of uh, the ink. Okay, you just need to reverse the direction. This needs to be manually reversed. And you do that right here. It says rib rev. You just flip it down like that. Okay. If you happen to get a spool with a little grommet on the end, it should auto reverse, but we don't have any of those with the grommets. So you will have to manually do that. And you can reverse these ribbons, I would say like 40, 50 times before you need to switch them out. Just use up all of that ink in there before you uh, need to put another spool in. And you can get more ribbon spools on our website at jotentiltypewriters.com. Again, the ink link is down below. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on and I'll show you the rest of the typewriter and we'll do a typing demo at the same time. First, I'm gonna load the paper. I'm gonna just set it right here and you can bring this paper guide in to kind of help you, you know, know kind of where you wanna load it. You just set it there, turn the handle, bring that around and make sure your paper goes underneath the metal bar. And you can see it's really crooked, um, partly this didn't turn. Okay, but I'm gonna uh, get it straightened out by pulling this forward, straighten it out, and oops, there we go. And the on off switch is right here. All right, now your color selector is on the right side. We already talked about the ribbon reversal. Copy set, you're not really gonna need it, but um, technically it did it changes how hard these type bars strike your paper. This is your tab. So let's go here. This is your tab. Okay, and to set your tabs, you press this one and to clear it, you press this one. And then your return. Okay, now when you hit return, your line selector is right here. So um, it'll advance either one, two or three lines depending on where you have it set. Let's go ahead and type. This is a 1960. Oh, this feels really good. Also, that return is really nice. Some returns just like totally jostle you everywhere and this one doesn't. It's a very nice. This 
this is really good. If you have kids that want a typewriter, this is going to be perfect for their first typewriter. It's so easy to use. Um, I always recommend a an electric for the especially the youngest of kids because you don't need a lot of um, finger strength to type. Let's try the red. Okay, the bell just went off. And so normally you would hit uh, the return, but I'm gonna keep going. Okay, now it's gonna stop. And what you would do is hit the margin release to be able to go, keep going. Okay, this is excellent. It's in A plus. Um, amazing. Um, it does have signs of wear. You can go look at the up close images, um, but even those, you'll see just a little bit uh, signs of wear on here, but it's not a lot overall. It looks really good. Types, amazing. So, one, it's great for kids, great for crafters, but it's solid enough that, let's say, you want to write a book on a typewriter. You just want to do that, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. This is the typewriter for you. Okay, so it's great for beginners, great for younger typers, um, and great for crafters. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.